Hello everyone, my name is Shevin Keiko Olani, assisted by Katrina Repka. Woo! I know, she's doing a great job. So, things that we went over today. We went over this long footwork exercise at the beginning where we did triple steps, crossing to the front, crossing to the back, sailor shuffles, and hook steps. You can find all of that on YouTube. Yes, I know, crazy stuff. As we go into this, we started off with an open whip. So all we did for the open whip was one, two, three, and four. And all I talked about was primary versus secondary here, where my left hand takes over here, my right hand takes over as a step down line, left hand takes back over at the end. So it's something like one, two, right hand here, left hand here, in order to create all of these different steps. And we started talking about primary versus secondary connection. Then we took that and we made an inside turn out of it where I looked at the wrong wrist for my watch. In order for the follower to turn, same thing on the other side, just so we would see. Nice and easy stuff. Followers, for you, we started talking about turning and prepping. So I had you do this drill where you're pushing off the leaders. You can use any type of pole, corner of a wall, whatever, where if the leader's on your left side, stepping forward with your left foot, and then pushing off, bringing your right side to left in order to do that turn, or opposite side, pushing off with your right hand, right foot steps forward, push off in order to get that turn. Practicing this and then trying out different shapings and things where you can actually start to bring your leg in, let's say, do like a little wrap, dip down, different types of angles that you can play with within your body, right? That way you're not practicing it live with the leader every time. Instead, trying to create your own momentum at least for the first turn. For my leaders, we started talking about doing this with a cross hand hold and then eventually taking this around the body. So, I said as we do this, we wanna make sure that the steps are the same. So as I step forward on my forward here, this is gonna bring my follower forward on that four step there. If I decide to hook this behind, for example, one, two, three, and four, I'm killing off all that momentum and energy back there. Instead, my follower shouldn't step forward there. If I do it here, my follower is going to step forward. I'm gonna be right shoulder here. As I go into my five here, all I'm doing is bringing this foot, sorry. All I'm doing is bringing this foot in, three and four. Sorry. <laughs> I was gonna mess up this move a few times. One, two, three, and four, five. All I do is I turn my body. As I do that, my hand just kind of switches over to the other side of my head, still staying on the left side of my body. Do this outside turn. And then the followers, we gave you this nice little prep step to come into this. So, switching angle one more time. One, two, three, and four, five, six. And then the followers can do all the turning things, pushing off the leader's body in order to regain balance. And then all we did out of this was just a nice little sugar push. But of course, if you end up with the opposite hand because the followers slid out, we also have a free spin. Thank you guys very much.